So the heat of the University 8, the Temple Challenge Cup between Harvard University and they are the men, the Crimson and White Blades on the left-hand bank, the Berkshire Bank and Imperial College London B crew and they are on the Bar uh, Buckinghamshire station and you can see they're very distinctive striped black, silver and blue blades and gives me great pleasure to say I'm joined in the commentary box by Jim Harlow thanks to uh, Rebecca Caro but uh, Jim, great for you to be here Thanks Martin, what a brilliant day that view down the course, you see sunshine 24 degrees, bit of a tailwind, perfect for racing and these crews they come off the top of the island, they seem to be following the form book, Harvard a much bigger crew Imperial B having to go to the qualifiers they're going to do well to keep up with Harvard I think at this point in the race yeah, this is a decent Harvard crew, you know, Jim. I was ch checking out the results of the, uh, as well, actually, let's just go live to the, we, we saw a replay at the start, but we're approaching uh, Forley now. And I was checking out the results of this crew, and they did a pretty decent performance in the second varsity eight. I mean, this is, in effect, the Harvard second varsity crew. So the guys that just didn't quite make the varsity eight, and they finished second behind uh, Cal Barkley, Cal Barkley did 5.38, but these guys from Harvard were 5.42, and we saw Northeastern come down the track. They, in the final, they did 5.41. We saw what they did to their opposition. So this is a decent crew, which could go a long way in this event. And that's a brilliant shot. See that boat move through the water, how they just make it look so easy. It's like any top sports uh, crew. Just make everything look so simple, how it's flowing. That's Sandy Morley, 21-year-old, with that very distinctive white floppy hat. It's his second time racing at Henley. He competed as a, as a lad in the Forley Challenge Cup with Maritime Rowing Club. He's an economics and global health student, would you believe, the man with the white cap, and getting that nice ride up in the bow seat. I think they're rowing in an Oxford uh, University boat race shell, if I can see that, OUBC, and it's got boat race on the side, Jim. It's named after Acer, isn't it? I saw the name on the front. Oh, did you spot that? Yet. Oh, that's a good spot, Jim. So Asa Nethercott, uh, the former Oxford Cox, now sadly departed, but uh, never to be forgotten. Yeah, quite. We get a, a view of the Imperial crew. They've done really well just to be here today. They had to go to the qualifying races last Friday. Uh, only seven crews out of 38 got through just to race here today. So they're, they're well, I suppose, they're real racers that, on Friday a, just that, to get in, and they've done brilliantly well. That's a hell of an achievement. Just looking at that time, 2.58 for the Temple. The record is 2.53, which is held by the University of Washington last year. So actually, 2.58 is only five seconds off the record. They're not racing flat out, this Harvard crew, but that's a pretty decent time. So the times vary between five or ten seconds off the record for the halfway mark, as we see that. that that's, uh... We've had a couple of close ones today. There was, uh, a couple of crews got within a second of the barrier record and the Foley record. Oh, I didn't think it was a record time to no, be set no, today, no. but I think we will this week. Now, that looks poised, doesn't it? Look at those men from Harvard just coming up in that uh, borrowed boat from Oxford University with the Crimson, the men in Crimson. Just coming into the enclosures now. Uh, I think Imperial get a, a pretty big cheer when they come through. I didn't realise, I was only looking up on the website, it's their centenary year this year of IC, I didn't know. You're kidding. So Imperial College, they row uh, from the Putney Embankment. It's kind of the last rowing club along from the Putney Embankment towards uh, Fulham Football Club, if you know your geography. And uh, it has a very, very long and distinguished tradition. We've just seen three of the crews in the London area taking on overseas opposition in the last three races, haven't we? Absolutely. Stefan Hales, the 21-year-old, in the bow seat there. Just uh, a lightweight himself, only 75 kilos. Just see his muscles just working in phase. Beautiful, sicked in. A little bit of steering on the boat just uh, as it comes up. It's not what you need, necessarily. But I'm sure that uh, the Imperial Cox, Divica, Reddy, will know what they are doing. And they've done well this year, the, the IC crew. They came second in the B final University of at Marlow Regatta. And so they're, they're a really good crew. Obviously, they're working really, really hard to try and keep up with this Harvard crew. But they're two stone, a man heavy. They're a much bigger crew. And the way they move the boat is just pretty. So Harvard looked like they're after a, well, after a Sunday afternoon paddle. In fact, this is a heat of the Temple Challenge Cup for University 8. And they are going to cross the finish line in well in control, comfortably in control. Harvard take this heat the Temple Challenge Cup from the men of Imperial College, the B crew, came through the qualifiers. You've heard Jim Harlow tell us about all that race they had to do to qualify for this regatta, and they're coming up to the line just now. 
So Harvard University beat Imperial College of uh, B. Crew from London comfortably in the Temple.